All right, let's jump into this deep dive on uh, colonoscopy. We're going to be looking at two sources today. One is from the Catalan Health Service, and the other is from HealthWise. They both give you know some slightly different perspectives, which I think is pretty helpful, so we can get a well-rounded view, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what are some of the like key things that folks should know about a colonoscopy? Well, I think the first thing is really, why is it even done? You know, what's the purpose of it? And then what can someone expect when they actually go through it? And that includes, you know, all that fun prep work, which we'll get into because it's not the most fun part, but it's uh, important. Definitely not the most fun part. So let's start with why it's done. Both of our sources agree it's all about seeing what's going on inside your large intestine. That's your colon 80, your rectum. A whole shebang. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just a random checkup, right? No, no. There are very specific reasons that your doctor might suggest this procedure. Like, Well, HealthWise gives a like pretty long list. You know, things like blood in your stool or chronic diarrhea. Anemia can be another reason. Sometimes it's a follow-up after other tests. But the Catalan source, they really emphasize its role in preventing colon cancer. Oh, wow. Which is obviously a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty motivating yeah. to, you know, face the, the music of the prep. Mm -hmm. So speaking of prep, I know that's often what people dread most when it comes to a colonoscopy. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the number one thing people think about. Right. Not in a good way. Not in a good way, no. Mm. What do our sources say about it? Well, they both emphasize how important it is, and they're pretty blunt. Like, the Catalan guide, they just come right out and say you're going to be taking laxatives to completely empty your bowels. Yeah, no sugar coating there. None whatsoever. Healthwise goes into a little more detail. Like, they talk about different types of prep you can do. Oh, interesting. Yeah. They even mention the split prep option, where you take part of it the night before and the rest in the morning. They also really stress that you need to stay home. Oh, for sure. Because, you know, you're going to be making frequent trips to the bathroom. Yeah, I think that's probably good advice for anyone. Absolutely. Okay, so you've survived the prep. What happens during the actual procedure? Well, HealthWise walks us through it step by step. You'll be lying on your side, thankfully. And they give you sedation, so you're relaxed. And you probably won't remember much, which is good. Then the colonoscope goes in. They actually describe it as a tiny submarine with a camera. I love that analogy. Tiny submarine. Right. Exploring your insides. It makes it seem a little less scary, I guess. Yeah, maybe a little. So they use air to inflate your colon to get a clear view. And during the procedure, they might take biopsies or remove polyps if they need to. Hold on. What are polyps? So polyps are these small growths in the colon. Most of the time they're benign, but they can sometimes develop into cancer. Oh, I see. So removing them during a colonoscopy is really a key part of cancer prevention. Okay, that makes sense. So we're talking about biopsies, polyps, all this stuff. What about the risks and results of the procedure overall? Both sources are really upfront about that. HealthWise is like super specific about potential risks. They mention things like tears or bleeding in the colon. Oh, wow. But the Catalan source is quick to reassure us that serious complications are very rare. So it sounds like while there are risks, like with any procedure, they're not necessarily something to be super concerned about. Exactly. What are the results themselves? Well, any biopsies that are taken, those are analyzed in a lab. But what's interesting is that the Catalan source points out that even if the colonoscopy doesn't show anything unusual, your doctor might recommend additional tests. Oh, wow. So even a normal result could lead to more investigation. Yeah, exactly. And that's why it's so important to communicate with your doctor. They can help you understand what your individual results mean and guide you on any next steps. It's really a partnership, you and your doctor, working together. Yeah, absolutely. That's really helpful. So we've talked about why you might get a colonoscopy, what to expect during the prep, what happens during the procedure itself, and even touched on some of the potential risks and results. What else should folks know? Well, I think it's important to talk about what's considered a normal finding so we can understand the contrast, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So HealthWise describes a normal colon as having a smooth pink lining, healthy folds, and no signs of growths, bleeding, or inflammation. So pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty much. But what about those abnormal findings? Ah, uh, now we're getting to the good stuff. What are they looking for? Okay, so HealthWise gives us a pretty good list here. They mention hemorrhoids, which are actually the most common cause of blood in the stool, but also things like polyps, which we already talked about, ulcers, diverticulosis, and inflammation. Yeah, diverticulosis, that's a new one. It is. It refers to these little pouches that can form in the colon wall. They're actually quite common. 
and often don't cause any problems, but sometimes they can get inflamed or infected, which can lead to pain and other complications. So that's where the inflammation comes in. Exactly. What can that tell us? Well, inflammation, especially a red swollen colon lining, which is known as colitis, could be a sign of an infection, but it could also point to something more serious, like inflammatory bowel disease. Wow. So a colonoscopy can really uncover a wide range of issues. It makes you realize why this screening is so important, especially for early detection. Absolutely. Early detection is key, especially when it comes to something like colon cancer. Finding and removing those polyps early can actually prevent cancer from developing. And even if they do find something concerning, the earlier it's detected, the better the chances of successful treatment. So much of this comes back to being proactive and informed, which is really what this deep dive is all about. Couldn't agree more. It's about equipping yourself with the knowledge to have those productive conversations with your doctor and advocate for your own health. You know, we've covered a lot of ground here. And I think it's safe to say both of our sources are pretty aligned on the essentials, right? Yeah, definitely. Colonoscopy is a vital procedure for detecting and preventing serious issues. The prep, yeah, it's intense. But it's essential for a clear view. Oh, absolutely. And the procedure itself is typically painless thanks to sedation. Right. That makes a big difference. Yeah, big difference. I think what's really important, though, is understanding the range of possible results and what they might mean for you personally. A hundred percent. It's key to making informed decisions about your health. Yeah, it's not just about the procedure itself. It's about that bigger picture of your overall well-being. You got it. It's about being an active participant in your own healthcare journey. Now, I think there's something we haven't really touched on, and that's the psychological side of all this. We've talked a lot about the medical aspects, but what about the emotional impact? That's a really great point, and one that's often overlooked. It's understandable, I think. Right. But, I mean, let's be honest. The prep alone can be mentally challenging. Oh, yeah. And for some people, just the thought of the procedure itself can be anxiety-provoking. Absolutely. The emotional component is just as important as the physical one. It's completely normal to feel anxious or apprehensive about a colonoscopy. And it's crucial to acknowledge those feelings and seek support if you need it. Yeah, I remember feeling pretty anxious. Before my first colonoscopy, Yeah, the whole idea of it was just kind of nerve-wracking. I can imagine. Talking to my doctor helped a lot and just doing some research on my own. I think that's so important. Sharing those feelings, whether it's with your doctor, a friend, or a support group, can make a huge difference. And remember, there are resources available to help manage anxiety and cope with the challenges of the prep. So it's really about taking care of your whole self, physically, mm. A and D, emotionally. Absolutely. Healthcare isn't just about tests and procedures. It's about caring for the whole person. Well said. And to our listener, we hope this deep dive has given you the information and confidence to have those important conversations with your doctor about colonoscopy. Remember, knowledge is power. And when it comes to your health, that power is in your hands. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We'll see you next time for another deep dive into a fascinating topic. See you then.